Okay, so it's been quite a few hours since the last video I made, but I have since added a current position text here, which you can see where the current position of the CNC machine is at. I also added a zero button, which will just zero the coordinates at whatever position the machine is currently at. I also added a X plus and minus to go along with the Y plus and minus. And additionally, I have fully put together the motor driver for the X axis that's connected to this servo here, which controls a belt. So that has been done. Uh, it's hooked up to a secondary power source here, just like the other one is. Um, and then I wired, so after wiring all that together, I wired it all into the Raspberry Pi using a pinout diagram. And on, so we have the original uh, stepper rod script here, which is what I use for the Y axis. And I created a second one called stepper belt, which has a separate delay or speed rather. And I also changed all the pinouts right here based off of what was available according to a pinout diagram that I found for Raspberry Pis. And then lastly, I implemented all of this into the actual UI program. So if I run the UI program, again, I can now control the X axis. Keep in mind it's in very small increments as well as the Y axis still. So now we can control both axes. Um, you can see the current position that it's at. And then, like I said, you can zero it and then it'll just, it'll go based off of that. Um, further, the console output also to include the X axis information. And additionally, I have some new functions here that just handle everything in the back end, like zero CNC, move CNC with X and Y. And yeah, so now I'm going to add, I'm going to basically log the positions for each color and I'm gonna hard code it into the software here so that depending on which color gets detected, which I already have a function for called, um, I believe it's yeah, color, on color detected. So all I have to do is plug in X and Y coordinates into this right here to make it move to that position. And then I'll add the color sensor and then I'll be done for the night.